Hey everybody. So I wanted to talk about why I wasn't able to go on the coastal trip this past week. So my capstone project is about the island oak tree. And uh, this past weekend, me and my team were on Santa Rosa Island. And so I wanted to chat a little bit about that for my video because I think that it definitely has to do with resource management, uh, coastal management, and uh, island management. So like I said, this past weekend, my capstone group and I traveled to Santa Rosa Island, and we were there studying the island oak, or Quercus tomentella, uh, which is a super important tree to the ecosystem. And I'll talk a little bit about that in the next slide. Um, but we're basically doing a demography study, and we want to observe the health of this population. Um, and it is this specific grove on the top of Black Mountain uh, on Santa Rosa Island that we're going to be looking at and that we did this past weekend. Um, and we will basically be setting up a data set for this grove that hasn't been studied before. So other trees on the island, um, other oaks, and uh, there are three other species of trees that have been looked at. Um, but this grove that we are doing our research on hasn't been studied yet, and we're super excited uh, that we are basically going to be setting this up for future research. And uh, hopefully, you know, our research will help um, provide management solutions or inform future management decisions. So like I said, our study site is Santa Rosa Island, uh, which is just one island in the Channel Islands chain. Uh, it's 26 miles off the coast of Santa Barbara. And I'm sure that many of you have seen it um, or been to it. Uh, you can see it off of our coast. And it is a super important enclosed ecosystem. Uh, like all islands, they face threats to the land and endangered species due to human actions. And some of those threats uh, include grazing, uh, invasives, uh, and many others. So now I'll talk a little bit about Quercus tomentella, uh, which is the subject of our research. So this tree provides incredibly important ecosystem services to the environment it uh, inhabits. Um, basically, there's this cloud forest that exists on uh, Santa Rosa Island and the other Channel Islands as well, where the fog that rolls over the islands um, gets captured by these trees uh, due to their, they have like a fuzziness on their leaves and um, it provides just this great ecosystem for different plants to thrive. And uh, these trees are just covered in moss. It's really gorgeous to see. And it was really, uh, really awesome, really magical to look at, definitely to be in these groves. So like I said, they collect fog from the air. Uh, and this helps to water the plant itself or the tree and the surrounding plants. So it provides like a really stable ecosystem. And then there's also this thick layer of leaf litter that provides nutrients to the soil. And then it also doubles down and helps trap the moisture. So this tree just provides such an amazing ecosystem for all the plants and everything else that surrounds it. So in the 1800s, the island was used for grazing and hunting. Uh, they brought animals like sheep and like elk and deer out to the islands, um, uh, which was definitely not a good idea in the long term. So decades of grazing by sheep and deer caused uh, a lot of erosion. So this picture here on the right, it shows uh, this is a grove that we went to um, and it you can see the effects of erosion like there's basically no leaf litter on the ground. Um, there is, there are no other plants that are growing underneath these trees, and you can see that the, the land has basically eroded underneath these roots, so the root systems are exposed 
And it's just crazy to see the difference of uh, what erosion can do. So this caused the island oak to be less capable of collecting that water from fog. And it, it is just having a hard time um, trapping that water and then providing a good ecosystem. So, and they don't have the help of that leaf litter and other native plants to trap that water. So it's just a big cycle. So collecting data. There are 36 individual plots that have been set for us uh, in GIS that is at the top of Black Mountain in that specific Island Oak Grove. Uh, we got to about 12 this weekend. Um, we'll get to as many as we can. Uh, we'll definitely finish by the end of January. Um, so we collect data on things like acorn production, uh, canopy class, diameter of the trunk at breast height, uh, which is also called just DBH, the height class of the tree, number of trunks, uh, canopy dieback, other species that are rooted in the plots, like other native species or invasives, um, and uh, much more. So this data is super important for observing the overall health of the species and we'll be able to take this back with us and do some data analysis. So I wanted to circle back to why this is important and how this relates to our coastal and um, marine resource management. So the island ecosystems are incredibly fragile, like I said, a couple examples, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of the DDT or DDT affecting uh, eggshell strength. That was one that really impacted the islands and the species that live there, like the birds that nest. Um, how grazing caused erosion, we went over that. And then how invasives can take over different ecosystems. So there are many management strategies that need to be implemented and restoration uh, efforts need to continue like the one that is happening here with the island oak. Um, research and observation has to continue to better the health of these fragile ecosystems. And our study impacts future research on these specific trees, which is really important. And we feel super lucky to be able to do this. And uh, lastly, coastal and island management is difficult and complex and research like this helps inform management decisions. So hopefully at the end of the day, um, we can make a difference and make things better. <laughs>